Hey guys, so a lot of you have asked me, what do you think of this trike as opposed to the previous trike that I had, which was an HP Velotechnic 20FS. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss with you a little bit about the differences between this trike and the last trike that I had, and uh, some of the benefits and a couple of the negatives. So I rode around Asia on a Scorpion 20FS uh, from a company called HP Velotechnic. And uh, that trike had one huge difference uh, being that the wheels, all three wheels on that trike were 20 inches, meaning that the trike sat much lower to the ground, the wheels were a lot smaller, the trike overall was <laughs> a lot smaller. This is a beast. The new trike now is from a company called Azub, the TieFly X. They make a few different ones. They make a tie fly with 20 inch tires all around. They make a tie fly 26 with a 26 inch wheel in the back. And then they make this, which is a tie fly X with 26 inch wheels all the way around. The first obvious thing is aesthetics. When I sit down in this trike, I feel like this is a more suitable sized vehicle for a guy of my size. So I'm six foot two and this trike is, is perfect for me. <laughs> I feel like proportionate wise, um, it doesn't look like I'm riding a, uh, like a little clown car and I'm a little, <laughs> I'm like a big clown in a little car. That's not to say anything negative about the Scorpion 20 FS. It's a great, great vehicle, but, uh, I do feel like the upgraded wheel size was something that appealed to me visually. I'm saying that straight up. There is uh, a number of other differences though, that I decided on when I went with this product. But there are also some things I carried over. Let's talk about the things I carried over from the previous. I carried over my pedals and pedal extenders. Uh, if you guys don't know what pedal extenders are, they also call them knee savers. They're this nut here that extends out the pedals to the left and the right on both sides. And what they do is they allow your feet to have more of a natural position as opposed to pointing in, they're sort of more uh, the normal standing stance, which they say is better for, uh, for your knees. And my knees are not very good. I also carried over the Pedaling Innovations pedals. So I have a huge surface area to rest my feet, which also helps on my knee pain. In my opinion, if you are gonna go without clip-ins, get the largest surface area with a little grip on it, and that will help to mitigate the potential of having uh, leg suck, which is where your legs go underneath the uh, trike and you end up mangling your legs. It's a risk, obviously, to go clipless, but it's a risk that I, I take because I enjoy being able to wear my keen sandals and ride around more freely without having to clip in. When I was clipping in, it was causing me knee troubles. And um, I'll talk more about the pedals in a future video or a video that you've already seen, I guess. <laughs> now, another thing that I carried over were stand-up assists. It's these two bars that stand up. They look a little bit different than my last trike, but they serve the same purpose. Purpose for others and purpose for me is a little bit different. Their original purpose is to help people get into the trike and use them as a place from which to grab and sit down in the trike. But for me, Obviously, I still use them for that. It's kind of nice, especially when you have, uh, when you're riding this around the world and there's all sorts of people that you run into that really want to sit in the trike and you're a little nervous because sometimes they'll actually try to support themselves on my side bags, which are like the, the bicycle handlebar bags that I have on either side of my seat. And they end up freaking me out because they could literally just rip them off if they put their body weight on them. So I always make sure to tell them, use these as your assist to sit down in the seat and get out. But what I like about them is they provide me a platform for mounting my mirrors and for having uh, my uh, riding computer, which is what I did on my previous trike. Plus, I like to just sit down and have the, um, the stand-up assist act like a little bit of a cage and keep me protected. I, uh, I got into a car accident uh, on my first attempt at riding around and I felt like the more um, material that I had around me was beneficial to save me <laughs> when I might be involved in an accident. And so that was quite good. The other thing that carries over from the previous trike is the steering. So this is indirect steering system, they call it. And it's sort of, you could say, automotive style. You have a bunch of ties into the, um, to the handlebars that provide an indirect method 
of turning the, the wheels. And I like the feeling of that. I feel like it gives you a lot more control. Um, but there's a lot of people that really enjoy the direct steering. Direct steering is like the handlebars are integrated into the uprights and when you turn the handlebars they directly turn the wheels. The suspension system. This is the Azub Titanium Leaf Spring Suspension. And there's a lot of reasons I like this over my previous suspension system. The previous suspension system was built into the kingpins and there was bushings, o-rings, and dampeners that were contained inside the kingpins. And when that went bad, it meant that I had to disassemble the entire kingpin. And there's a lot of delicate components in here that would end up popping out and you had to have it under pressure. And it was a really, really frustrating thing to repair. This doesn't really need much in, in, in regards to maintenance. The dampeners on either side can be replaced fairly easily. The actual leaf springs are made of titanium and have been tested over a million times. You're never going to flex these to where they will deform in shape and you're never really going to break these unless, listen, if you're going to break these, you've got a lot more problems than a ruined suspension. So, <laughs> so that's why I sort of like this. On top of it, it's extremely stylish and I love the look of the Azub. Uh, it's like almost a one-of-a-kind thing, their, their leaf spring suspension system, and so it gets a lot of oohs and ahs. One of the carryovers from my previous trike that I made sure to have on my new trike, because I love them no matter what, is the fenders. So I have fenders on both front wheels as well as the back wheel. I, I, I ride with friends who don't have uh, fenders, and on a rainy day, you're riding through the mud, everything gets caked in mud your panniers, your seat, yourself. It's just a complete disaster. And if you're doing a long tour like this, I don't even know if it, it's a real long tour. It doesn't even matter. I just, if you're riding around without fenders, you're risking a really sour day getting covered in gook and mud. I learned uh, a long time ago, uh, especially after my first car accident, that the more noticeable you are, the better. And I have a bit of a problem is that I am very forgetful. And so uh, a lot of people put a battery operated light on the front of their uh, trike and the back of their trike and they have it uh, when they run through a tunnel or whatever. But I would always forget these things. And so in order to alleviate that and provide an opportunity to know that my lights are always on, no matter if I remember or don't remember, I've added, I've kept a Sun Hub Dynamo. This Sun Hub Dynamo is different than the one on my previous trike just because these uh, wheels are bigger. But uh, this is actually the same. This is from my old trike, the, the actual light. But uh, yeah, when my wheels are turning, my lights are on, and that provides me a lot of security. It makes me feel better about riding, and it makes me know that no matter what I'm doing, no matter how aloof I am, that uh, people are gonna see me because these are ultra light bright and there's a front light as well as a rear tail light. Now, as far as braking goes, I have made a pretty big upgrade uh, to a system that I had on the previous strike. So on the previous strike, I had both brakes operating from my right hand steering and that is the same. I like to be able to have my other hand free my left hand free to videotape or fly the drone or whatever. And so I don't want to have both hands having to operate the brakes. A lot of people use both brakes to, so you'll break this one and you'll pull into one turn, you break another, you pull into the other. I actually had uh, th that braking system when I started back in China and it was great. It was really amazing because you could pull yourself into turns. It felt very organic and whatnot. It didn't take long for me to realize that as fun it is, as it is to use your brakes and help you drive, it was a big hindrance when you're trying to talk to people or you're sharing videos or you're flying the drone because as you're braking, you're pulling into turns and you, you need both hands. So instead I've moved both brakes to one side and they used to be cable operated, uh, the BB7s, the standard ones. But on the new trike, the Azub, uh, Azub uh, built me in a, a Tektro system and they're a hydraulic system. So the, the hydraulic uh, cables come out of the brakes uh, here and they go down and then they tee off right underneath the trike and deliver the hydraulic fluid to both, uh, both wheels and both brakes. Hydraulic brakes, brakes work great until they don't and then they're really, really frustrating to fix. 
And so I haven't ran into the problem of having to repair a, a faulty hydraulic line. But so far, they're way, way more, and I'll use this word facetiously, fluid of a braking system. They, they're very reliable. They brake very, very smoothly. And I'm really, really happy with them uh, so far. If you look at the handles, you'll also see one of the differences between my first trike and uh, the uh, second trike after the car accident and this trike. It's that the uh, cabling actually goes up and into the handlebar down to the, the below area of the trike underneath the seat. And this was a bit weird because normally this is my roll-off speed hub and that's another device that came from the previous strike. The roll-off system uh, is, is the same one from my previous strike. And I actually like that because roll-off speed hubs actually get better with AJ wear. I, I love the roll-off speed hub for tons of reasons. I, I'm gonna probably make a dedicated video about why I love the roll-off speed hub, but just know it's an integrated gearing system that's in the back of the trike and we on the rear wheel and uh, it's very easy to shift you don't have to be moving in order to use a derailleur and uh, use the momentum of, of riding in order to shift gears uh, which is nice but uh, what i was trying to say is that all of the cabling goes through the top in through the bottom and so what that does is it reverses the <laughs> the, the shifting mo motion so like on my previous strike this was all the way around and so Counterclockwise is now clockwise and clockwise is now counterclockwise. So that's other than that flip, the system is the same. And again, I have hydraulic brake. As far as baggage systems go, this is the same bags that I had on my previous strike, uh, second version. The first version, I think I had Arkel RD60s, which were more of a fabric. Uh, fabric bag and uh, I was running through some typhoons and, and cyclones and things and monsoons through Southeast Asia and things I was worried about things getting too wet especially me as a youtuber I'm carrying a lot of video equipment with me and so I wanted to have some security so I upgraded uh, Oh, geez, I don't know, remember exactly when, but I, I, at some point I upgraded. Now these are the Ultimate 6. I used to use high vis bags, but high vis was nice, but they got dirty really quick. If you get oil or grease on a high vis bag, you're never gonna get it off. Whereas these more nylon bags, you can clean these up. Uh, I mean, these are, these are amazing. These are the, uh, uh, the Ortlieb recumbent panniers. If you can find one of these in yellow, buy it like buy it right away because they don't make them anymore and the yellow ones are basically uh, dinosaurs. Uh, but I love them, I enjoy them. They, you could still get some in black, but uh, Ortlieb doesn't make them anymore. But of course they make these side bags. These are great, they're magnet latched. I, can, I have two of them on either side of the seat. They are extremely waterproof. I mean, you could put and dip these in the water and they won't uh, get water in them. A little word to the wise though, I actually was in a monsoon in, in Taiwan and it was pouring. It was pouring so much that I had my uh, rain suit on and tight around my face and I wasn't really concerned with look, looking left or right. And it wasn't until I had ridden about 10 kilometers or so that I did look over and I realized that this bag was totally open. <laughs> and to, to, as a testament to how waterproof they are, they can keep water out, but they can also keep water in. And this thing was brimming, brimming with water. And so it was a drone soup. And my, my drone was, was just in, in, a, uh, in a pool uh, because as much as they keep the water out, they also kept the water in. As a side story, I was able to air out my batteries and the drone worked and we lost a couple of batteries, but, but I was expecting total loss, so I'm pretty happy about that. So here we're on the back of the trike. Uh, I have, like I said, a fender over the rear wheel, which is great. <laughs> if you don't have a rear, rear, rear fender, the water comes up and it hits you right in the back of the head. And trust me, I've had shoulders and backs of the neck completely caked with, uh, with gook don't like it. Here's my roll-off speed hub, original from my last uh, trike. Um, the gearing and stuff is fairly uh, similar. Obviously, we have the 26-inch wheel on the back, and I have the light that is powered from the Sun Hub Dynamo on the front. What is different, though, is I upgraded the rack. This is a king rack from Azub, and you sort of need it because you got this big tire in the back. A lot of times, you have these rinky-dink racks that go over the rear 26, 
And this thing is a beast. Not only does it allow for a lot of options, but it's also just a good looking rack. Um, it, I got a, my trike has a fantastic rack. <laughs> okay, if you're American, you know that, that, that humor misogynistic humor. So there's one thing uh, more that I will talk about. It's about the front chain ring. I've gone through a number of different iterations. I think the first trike I had had a fixed ring on the front with a roll off in the back and I had a fairly decent gear range. It was all dependent on the roll off speed hub. I've uh, also adopted the use of a Schlumpf drive, which is an internal gear system in the front. And I've used the high speed drive and the mountain drive. I have gone through a lot of different iterations. I love the idea of having uh, a big chain ring on the front that provides you a lot of power. Uh, when you're cycling uh, on like say a decline, you can pick up a lot of speed, but I also like the idea of having a small ring that you can get down to so that you can get up those mountain passes when you're on a like fairly, uh, uh, fairly steep incline. What I have decided on doing now with the new trike is uh, getting rid of the Schlumpf drive, which was a technological masterpiece. It was very, very cool to have it. But what I was told from Azub is it wasn't necessarily compatible with the, um, with the roll off in the back. So instead what I have is uh, essentially a two chain ring system that is manually operated. I don't have a derailleur. I just use my fingers to move the chain and uh, adjust the <laughs> adjust uh, what, what chain ring I want based on the, using my fingers. But there's two main ones that are open and then there's a closed off one that's like a emergency only granny gear that is blocked off with a little block here. Azeb put a block on it because it doesn't really fit with the gearing ratio of the roll off. I shouldn't use it unless I have an emergency. So the big chain ring is 48 tooth. The mid chain ring is 32 teeth and the little one in case of emergencies is a 24. So those are the standard differences and uh, similarities between this trike and my previous Scorpion 20 FS. Um, as far as ride quality goes and as far as uh, traveling with this trike, I am really enjoying it. Uh, you have an extreme amount of clearance under the trike. You can, uh, you can essentially take on trails that you couldn't ordinarily with the, the Scorpion. I can, uh, for, as a matter of fact, I can ride through, uh, through fields, like entire farmland fields where you might have grass that goes above the tires and you just basically run over it, which is something you couldn't, you get bound down with the Scorpion 20 FS. You can do the same thing with stones and rocks. Because your clearance is so high, I can jump up over curbs, I can ride over, over boulders that would have disabled my previous trike. I'd be teeter-tottering on them. As far as resistance goes, I think riding on uphills is a little bit harder. Um, just because of the sheer weight, this is about five or 10 kilos more uh, heavy than my previous trike setup. Um, but it is a little bit more difficult going on uphills. Uh, but as far as uh, standard speed goes and fluidity, I feel like the big tires give you a little bit uh, of, you would think more rolling resistance, but I feel like it's almost less. It feels very smooth when you're riding this trike and I'm, I'm really happy with it. I did like the idea of the lower center of gravity on the Scorpion. Uh, you, you do feel that you're up a little higher and so you have to take that into consideration, especially around turns when you're at high speed. But if you pay attention to those things, it's a factor that you can kind of mitigate. I'm not interested in, in being a race car. There's a lot of people that buy a trike because they want to go really fast. If you get a lightweight trike that's not built for touring, that's only built for speed, then getting lower to the ground might be something that's advantageous to you, but it's not necessary for, for me personally. So I really enjoy this. I'm, I'm having a great time riding around Italy. Follow my other videos as I, as I travel around Italy. There's some fantastic drone shots. There's some really interesting stories. I've had a great time here. Um, not sure when you're gonna watch this video, but I hope this helps to clarify why I made some changes, where the changes are. I'm sure there's more that I missed. Like for example, the wrist rests here are different, but similar. I, I love having something to sit on your wrist, but the uh, HP wrist rests actually had more cushion, which was more comfortable, but the drawback was that you sweat pools right here on your wrist and and I, no on your palm and then it goes right into those wrist rests and it ends up irritating whereas these ones are metal doesn't irritate as much obviously there's a huge upgrade that i haven't even talked about which is the seat this is the dream seat from azub 
I'm still um, enjoying it. It's a fantastic seat. I used to ride only with mesh, but this is a really, really great seat. There's some things about it that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about. If you're not wearing sleeves and you're bare-armed, sometimes your arm can rub here on the on the, uh, the the cushions that sit alongside the sides of your back and so that's something that I'm trying to figure out if you wear long sleeve shirts it's not a problem but it does rub a little bit and it can be a little bit irritating but you got to weigh that with the fact that it is one of the most comfortable seats you're ever going to sit in whether it's in your house or whether you're riding around the world which is pretty cool I have the same Garmin computer system that I had on the previous trike I have upgraded a lot of technology, but we can talk about that in a future video. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, and uh, I'm going to keep writing. Uh, Matt from Spezia, Spezia. <laughs> Take it easy, guys.